Hey guys, welcome back to uh, my makeup collection series. This is part two, the face products. So all of my face products are stored in this little section. We have two wide six drawer uh, Alex drawers from Ikea and then some face products are on top and that's all my face products. Um, so I'll start on top. So on top of this uh, unit are my fix uh, setting and fixing sprays. Yeah, there's technically a difference. I have everything from Drugstore, Makeup Revolution, Milani. Let's get in here. Griff is like, I mean, I can't live! <laughs> um, uh, Milani. I should have got my step stool. Urban Decay. <laughs> Urban Decay. Um, my favorite setting spray of all time is Mac Fix Plus. I have plenty of flavors. Uh, Griff, plenty of flavors, all the different types. I actually have a package waiting in my mailbox because the cherry blossom one was on sale, and about three of them. Um, but my favorite setting spray of all time is definitely Max Fix, Mac Fix, Fix Plus. Um, uh, my fix favorite fixing spray, probably um, one of the most expensive ones I have. This is the Krylon. This stuff sets your face like concrete. It don't look like concrete, but it sets it like concrete. Um, we have some different like shimmer finish ones, mattifying ones. Uh, this new one I just purchased. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. Baby, this stuff is good. I forgot how good Urban Decay's setting sprays were. I have to get another one um, because I used up D-Slick. But I don't know the difference in D-Slick and, and Ultra Matte now. Anyway, this stuff, if you use too much... <laughs> you can go overboard. So light spritz and you got a beautiful matte look that's staying all day. Just wanted to... That's a, that's a good one, baby. But yeah, all different brands. So then, over here are my face palettes, okay? So think of it as highlighter, blush, and contour. So I put these palettes here because they take up a lot of space in the drawer. And I have a lot of singles of highlights, blush, and contour that need to go in the drawer. So this is my solution to this. So in this first basket... We have highlighter palettes. Now, some of these palettes may hold blush, may have a blush or two in here. Let's start looking up. For example, this is my newest one. This is the Natasha Denona uh, Bloom palette. Blush. Let me see if I can get it. I'm holding the camera. Can we get it open? Can we get it open? Ah, we got it open. Not without putting a nail in it, of course. But anyway, so this has blush. It has highlight in it. Um... Sorry, y'all. Dug all in. <laughs> um, if it contains a blush, I'm, I'm sorry. If it contains a highlight, it goes um, in this category. Hopefully, this is gonna make sense. I have a lot of just straight highlighter palettes. That's from Makeup Revolution. I have a bunch in the back. Larger palettes from Perfusion. All of my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits are here. Y'all remember the glow kits? Yes, we love the glow kits. Um. Uh, face palette beauty bakery so this one has what appears to be a, all these have some sort of glow to them so I put them in this palette oh this is probably a good bronzer now that I'm in the bronzer not to use bronzer thank you very much um, um, also a couple duos so this is the sofax color sofax sof um, <laughs> by makeup revolution um, and these are two highlighters here and then we have, this is one of my favorites as well. This is the new Makeup Revolution. This is a blush and highlight. Now, could it go on the blush side? It could. But it has a highlighter, so it goes in the highlight side. This all makes sense in my mind. I swear to beans it does. I swear to beans. I do. Um, then here are my blush palettes. I don't have as many blush palettes. Um, but mostly like duos, small quads. Now here, it's all blush. There's nothing in here I don't think that really... This is a bomb. This is probably my favorite one in this category. Um, this is from BH Cosmetics. And this is the Chocolate Marshmallow Truffle Blush Palette. Oh! Uh, we got two mattes. I'm sorry, we have three mattes and like a satin one. Absolutely beautiful. So, favorite. Favorite. You can contour with this shade too if you're my skin tone. Um, favorite. Favorite. Um, yeah, 
these are some singles I don't know from where and then under here right here I'll show you this we're going in depth here this is just a Morphe Magnetic Palette, and these are some paints. So I used to do makeup. I used to be a makeup artist. Not anymore. I only do makeup for, like, friends and family. I don't do it for money as a job. Um, I just didn't, it didn't bring me joy. I don't like being in people's face, especially with COVID. I ain't getting nobody's face. And people had high expectations with low budgets, and that's just not. I'm not about that life. Um, so, yeah. Those are just some that I decided to keep. Some shades I decided to keep. I apologize if you hear the thundering and rain, but we gotta film this video, baby. We have to film. And then under here um, are all my contour palettes. Now, these palettes may contain highlighter. They may contain blush. But if they contain contour shades, they go in here. That's just how I decided to do it. This is the Contour Duo from Juvia's Place. Love that one. These palettes right here, these uh, the Tammy by Makeup Revolution face palettes. Oh, uh, see, they have blush and highlight in them as well. You could do the, your whole kind of face stuff with them, but um, the contours they go in the, they go in this section. Some um, the very first, remember the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette? Yes, I still have it. Yes, it still works. Yes, I still use it. Um, Ruby Kisses. I I remember when it was very hard for me to find a contour palette and I'm not that deep of skin tone um I used to use an eyeshadow I think Mac I forgot the name of it this is the new Colourpop palette this go blush highlight but it has a contour in there so that's where I put it these are my some of my favorites as well this is the Patricia Bright collab with Makeup Revolution and she came up with four face palettes contour blush and highlight magnificent so those are my contour palettes and duos and things. Again, if it has a contour in it, yeah. So that is all that's on top that's face. Now we're going to go into these drawers one by one. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? <laughs> this drawer is not face. This drawer is my tools and stuff as I talked about the overview. But we're going to start here at the next drawer. All the drawer organizers... Like the inside the drawer were created by me. They did not come with the Alex drawers. These are empty drawers. If even if you're not familiar familiar with the Alex drawers, they come they're empty. I created these baskets. I, I didn't create the baskets. I created the organizer with foam board and stuff. So this drawer here um, are all of my primers. Okay, so they're sort of organized. These are like my favorites. My favorite primers tend to be mattifying primers. Um, second favorite tends to be like blurring and pore primer. So in here, um, in my favorite Rimmel Stay Matte, okay, still in the top, still in the top mattifying primer. I've really been enjoying the, uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. Really been enjoying that. I like the Makeup Revolution. I like this Conceal and Fix mattifying primer as well. I really like this one. Um... So, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless is in here. Um, yes. And then in the pore section, um, the e.l.f. Putty is pretty good. Um, I like this one. This is the, I don't know if I ever buy the whole, the full size. This is the YSL uh, Touche Claw Blur Primer. Maybe. Maybe one day in my life. I don't know. Um, here are... Um, drop primers. I just they fit nicely in this basket, except this. This is the Milk Grip. Um, I really like this primer as well. Um, it could go here in the favorites, but I don't know. I'll put it here because it fit here and it's cute, it's green, and this seems to be the theme. I don't know. Uh, the Makeup Revolution Baking Primer. I actually use this just as a regular primer. I, I don't know. Um, the Cover Effects Custom Blot Drops beautiful this primer is really good too the onyx primer by makeup revolution i don't wore this out baby wore it out and then in here we just have small sample sizes of primers just smaller sizes because they will tend to get lost in the larger basket i gotta dig for them ain't nobody got time for that um this nyx pore filler targeted stick is very good fairly new to my collection um like that i love the nyx pore filler in the squeeze tube so yeah and then just some other ones this the Makeup Revolution Blur Stick. I have a lot of favorite primers. I do, which is good. I love having options. And this is the Blur Stick. Universal Face Primer. It's this giant stick that you rub on your face and it does blur. 
So that drawers, primers. I have room to add things. As always, I have a whole empty basket back there, which I can't really get my hand back there, so whatever. But all right, so the face, um, continuing with the face products, foundation, skin, let, let's just go drawer by drawer. I'm, I'm about to get ahead of myself. So in this drawer, before I even get to foundations, all right, this is definitely a birth of 2020 drawer. I just, just created this new drawer. This, not illuminators, because I have illuminating primers. They're here. But these are all of my, like, I guess, liquid, I guess you can call them liquid hot, no, 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 no. I'm going to call these liquid illuminators things that I mix with foundations or put on my face before foundation. Yes, if you look at a bottle, they're probably liquid highlighters. That's what they're called. But these are things, how I use them is I'll mix them with my foundation or put it on before my foundation to give my whole skin, my entire face a glow. Um, I had to make an own drawer for these. So we have the Stila Soufflés. These are Amuse, LA Girl, Liquid Illuminators, Liquid Glow. These are the e.l.f. Uh, Power Glow Highlighters. They're a pump liquid highlighter, but they work well mixed. Um, different types of drops. We got the NYX drops. These are L.A. Colors. Flesh. Yes. Um, and this one, these, again, as you can see, drops, squeeze tubes, pumps. You see what we're doing? Well, this is a pump. We'll get there. Um, the MAC. Um, I'm so glad I bought these. These were on clearance at Ulta a long time ago. Uh hyper real foundation but they're in the glowy ones let's see if we can back up gold effects and then rose gold effects love them mix them with the foundation any foundation so beautiful and then my newest favorite my newest favorite the melt sex foils uh liquid highlighters um i have five of the seven that they carry that they have and honestly um the set the other the other ones might 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 get in my collection you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> so that is the liquid illuminator drawer things that you mix with foundation very i'm just very excited for this drawer very excited for it summer 2021 birthed this drawer very nice okay the next drawer all right okay Getting into face products. This was a birth of summer 21 as, 2021 as well. I actually had a couple empty drawers when I reorganized my makeup collection. And then I was like, all right, we got to spread this face, these face products out. This drawer is solely tinted moisturizers and skin tints. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. All of these except one, two, three, four. five six seven oh decent amount okay i was gonna say all of them except like two i got this summer but <laughs> i don't know there's a few i've been had so tinted moisturizers and skin tints they needed their own drawer because they just did i have a lot of foundations and they needed their own drawer so how they're sorted these are the super glowy i mean super glowy in here we have the huda beauty they're not um I'll just, let me just keep going. <laughs> I, like, I get, tend to get ahead of myself. These are the super glowy things, okay? It doesn't matter the coverage, they're just super glowy. The Glowish by Huda Beauty, the Super Dewy by Makeup Revolution, Urban Decay. It's not as glowy as the rest of them. Uh, the Milani Glow, Maybelline, okay? These are what's classified as just simple tinted moisturizers. Tinted moisturizers here. Colourpop, Maybelline, and Sephora. These are labeled as what? Perfectors or... I don't know why I put these two together. But this is the Perfusion Perfector. Really good. Full coverage as well. Squinch, Quench and Tint by Laura Geller. Um, so both of these I think I did my skin tints. Because this is my Fenty Skin Tint and your girl loves this. Here are what are classified as serums. So I have two NYX ones. This is the tinted skin veil kind of thing. I put it in the serum category. This is the NYX tinted serum. 
skin serum and then this is the ordinary serum foundation this is actually a foundation and it's pretty good coverage but i put it in there because it's got the word serum in it i'm trying here there's no locked and loaded straight hardcore rule for this and then over here are all of my label bb and cc creams if they're labeled bb and cc cream that's where it goes this one's from shop miss a my aoe studio bb cream uh, it Cosmetics, ALF, and Dermablend. So this drawer was birthed in the summer of 2021. I felt like I needed to separate these types of products from my regular foundations. Alright, stay with me. Okay, these are foundations that are... They're kind of in this drawer by type. My not-in-a-bottle kind of thing. So we have some mousse foundations. This is not the original Dream Matte mousse I've had for like a million years. I've actually repurchased this. I really like this foundation. Uh, call me whatever you want. <laughs> Drops. All my stick foundations. Squeeze tube foundations. So not BB cream, CC creams that need to go in this drawer. Foundation in a squeeze tube. That's not, but stay with me. In a squeeze tube, that's not super, super high coverage. Stay with me. And then these are some off colors and things in the back. Stay with me. Very, very weird description here. Very weird description. But that's the best I can give you. Squeeze tube foundations that aren't the maximum coverage. Okay? Just, just, just stay with me. I'll go, um, anything that stands out, my favorite stick foundation, definitely the Huda. This foundation is bomb. The Juvia Place foundations are okay. Okay. I give them okay. This Too Faced, the Too Faced Peach Perfect, though, Comfort Matte Foundation, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. This could get bumped to a full coverage squeeze tube section, but it'll stay there for now. That's pretty good. I got that on sale recently. Big sale. In here are all of my full coverage foundations. Pretty So, all of my foundations. Because the next drawer, yeah. So, these are all of my foundations. And all of my foundations are full coverage. I don't wear light sheer coverage foundations I do a tinted moisturizer or something like that for that I just I'm just not doing it um in here are all of my squeeze tube full maximum coverage foundations y'all this is a new favorite I never tried the Tarte Amazonian clay the original never tried that one but this is the new formulation I love this crap yes back on my face baby it's not it doesn't make you look cake face but oh good baby um, and these are kind of just sorted by best fit. They're not sorted by anything else. Um, just best fit in the baskets. That's all. Uh, favorites. Sephora Best Skin Ever is gorgeous. The LA Girl Pro Matte, the NARS Soft Matte. All of these are favorites. I did a decluttering. I love them all. They're in here. I love them. Um, just repurchased the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop in the appropriate shade because the shade I have was too dark. I don't know what was happening with me. I got rid of like 20, maybe not 20, maybe 10 foundations that were all too dark. And the ones that I really liked that were off, I repurchased in the appropriate shade. And that was the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop was one of them along with the Too Faced Born This Way matte foundation. Um, yeah, I love this foundation, but the one I had was a little dark. Even this one, this is the, the KVD, um, this is on sale for like $9 now. I like this, the True Portrait. The one I had again was too dark, and I'm sorry, I'm at a phase, I'm 30 years old now, I'm not making things work. Not in the case of like shade range. I'm not trying to make it work. That's just, they're very different, there's going to be very specific circumstances where, alright, all right, I'll make this work. Uh-uh, pay too much money for this stuff, for it to not work. For it to not match appropriately. If it's my fault, that's one thing. But we're going to work with... Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Foundations. Okay. Whew. Let me get down here, y'all. Let me get down here. Get on his level. He's so cute. Okay. So now we're on the second drawer. Second set of drawers. Um... We're going to go to concealer. I love concealer. I have a lot of concealer. All right. And they are sorted, baby. So, on this side are all of my jar concealers. I don't know why. I'm going to have to rearrange this a little bit because I have some more jar concealers that need to fit in here. But we'll see. 
Um, I just like things in jars. Uh, I wish. So the Makeup Revolution one's really good. Um, I have a couple shades of this. And also with concealer. So let's chat about it real quick. With concealer, um, that's something we get multiple shades of. Some people, if you like a formula, they'll get a deeper shade to contour. They'll get a lighter shade to highlight. And that's kind of what I do. I don't do the deeper shade. But if I find a formula of concealer I like, I will get my skin tone shade. And then I will get a lighter shade like a natural brightening shade and then I'll get an Instagram brightening shade of that same concealer it's very easy for me to have three four five six different shades of concealer sometimes I'll get a shade even lighter if I'm cutting creases and I, I like concealer I do I've worn concealers foundation it's a thing I love it so um anyway jar concealers the jar concealers okay and so the way these um Ooh, sorry, I'm trying to get myself together. The way these are organized are kind of shade by shade. Um, and then for sake of did I do it the right way? Yeah, no, they're just by they're just by shade. And then coverage. So, alright. Whew, see if I can get it together. So these, let's go with these four baskets. These four baskets house my skin tone. So I can wear these concealers as foundation spot cover sometimes I do concealer before foundation or concealer before like a tinted moisturizer if it's lighter coverage that kind of thing so these are my skin tone concealers as you can see I have multiples of brands um in the bottom row these two baskets they're I don't buy light to medium coverage concealer every concealer in here is either full coverage or maximum coverage that's it. That's all you're getting from me. So, <laughs> skin tone concealers, full coverage, maximum coverage. Period. All right, so some favorites. <clears throat> and they'll be the same favorites no matter what shade category we're in. Age Rewind. Y'all, I go through these. Oh, love them. Um, the, this, the Makeup Revolution, I'll never get more of these. The Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define all in, Infinite. This is really good. Big tube, really nice concealer. The Cover Effects, what is this, the Power Play, really nice. Um, then we have our Maximum Coverage. Okay, your Tarte Shape Tape, baby. Your Tarte Shape Tape. $30 concealer. Next to the um, Nika K from the Beauty Store. This is actually more of a corrector. I don't know why it's in there. From the Beauty Store, um... Three dollars, bomb coverage. Okay, so maximum coverage, full coverage. <laughs> All right, and so these two baskets are the these four baskets are the same thing. These are the next shade up ish natural brightening, where it again looks natural. Where am I? Are she is she wearing concealer? She's just bright. <laughs> that kind of thing. Again, full coverage. Maximum coverage. I don't know why these these are maximum. Oh, this one is just this one. Okay, full coverage, maximum coverage, and and that's that's what it is. The and I still re as I keep wearing things and learning things. You know, you wear something differently. You're like, oh, what's you know? I thought this, um, and you might put it in a different category. But this is these uh the Mac Studio Fix, um, balm bomb bomb these are like $25 but I got them at Ulta 21 days of beauty when they were 12 so I got like five shades okay two for 60 two for 50 versus like five y'all feel me so okay skin tone next shade up second drawer I needed a whole drawer baby not really Instagram bright so this one's kind of all over the place uh try to separate full maximum but they're kind of all over the place not gonna lie they're kind of all mixed up here um because these selena gomez i call them selena gomez it's rare beauty but i don't know why i say selena gomez i mean it's her line but i just i call it selena gomez <laughs> these are not maximum coverage concealers um, these are probably the lightest coverage concealers i have but they still give it they still give it for some some kind of way um before I get into them, here we have some color correctors, corrector concealer palettes, and then these are some larger corrector concealer palettes from when I used to do makeup, but they're good and I use them on myself now or when I go do makeup on friends and family. 
I'll grab these palettes because they like foundation, concealer, cover up kind of thing. Um, anyway, so we got the maybe I have the Maybelline Age Rewind at all levels of shades, baby. Okay, baby. Okay. Um, it gives it to him. It gives it to him. Um, this the Too Faced Born This Way. Huh. This is like a thirty dollar concealer. Um. And listen, I got money, but I ain't got that much money. So what I do is, these both, this one seems a lot, I guess it's the camera. This one seems a lot darker than this one. It's not, but this one's also super, super light. So it's in here. They seem off with the camera, but um, like I said, I, this is $30. So actually my local cosmetic company outlet has Too Faced for like 40% off. And so I got a few of these. Bam! We always finding a sale, baby. We got the shape tape in here in a lighter shade, of course. Um, more of the MAC. Now, one of my, my first high-end concealer ever was the NARS. Um, the NARS Radiant Creamy. This is still a balm concealer. It's not maximum coverage. It's full coverage. But it is a balm concealer. I have backups of that concealer. I have backups of the Maybelline Age Rewind. Um... My newest favorite concealer that I cannot, I cannot put down, I cannot put it down, I cannot put it down, is the Lancome Tinty Doll Ultra Wear. This stuff is good. I have this shade, I might get an even lighter shade. I have this shade and then I have my skin tone shade. That stuff is beautiful. 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 All right, and that's concealer in there. All right, we getting there. We getting there. <laughs> this drawer are my non-standard pressed highlighters and a couple bronzers. Okay, so this is highlighters, but in here I keep again all of my non-traditional. So we have our loose ones. Um, the NYX Born to Glow absolutely stunning i have a bunch of colors of that the mega revolution pearl lights baby ba look at it in the bottle baby uh this mac powder this is the iridescent powder the loose powder sorry if i was out of frame um and golden bronze sweetie if you don't know me i love to glow I love to glow. Okay. Um, again, organizer made by me. I'm going to just go through. These are cream highlighters. And the only cream highlighters that I have are... Oh, I need to put another one in here, actually. Are the ColourPop Super Shock. But I just realized something. Sneak peek. We're going to come back to this drawer. I have a Becca cream highlighter. Yep, I do. It needs to go up here. Look at that! <laughs> Cream highlighter. Um, okay, then we have some big stuff in these two baskets. AOA Studio. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter is a beautiful natural... Ooh! Gives a beautiful natural glow. At Get it together, Candace. Absolutely beautiful. Too Faced. Um, if you guys can see, my collection goes from... I just goes drugstore high end. I have things in here that are a dollar that are bomb. These AOA Studio Lumi, one dollar. One do layer. Sitting next to the $38 Becca and look, we all live harmoniously in this house, okay? Um, Catrice. Okay, I have some large like bronzer highlighty things. I have a Becca bronzer back here. These are also back here. These are like creamy glow powder powder cream of powder powder to cream whatever they're just really big and so they fit back there um but these are absolutely gorgeous kiss from the beauty store six dollars okay look at that re look at it let me y'all god i love highlighter i can't wait to use still working through my new stuff because shopping my stash so this is kind of like shopping my stash now look at this i'm not it's not the gla i wasn't the glass look look at it Baby, baby, baby. Okay. Um, some more weird, creamy, pressed things. 
uh, stick highlighters and then these are liquid highlighters so these aren't ones I would mix with foundation these are actually liquid highlighters that will put on I, I use liquid highlighters on their own but most of the time I top liquid highlighters with a powder highlight for the most intensity these are from rare beauty these uh, I'm gonna get a few more more of these these are her liquid luminizers they are Bomb. Love those. I'm going to get a few other shades of those. Love them. I bought one shade and then went and bought two more and still loving it. I'm going to get a couple more. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, non-regular type highlighters. I don't know because... When you see the second drawer, you'll understand because it's, again, not a perfect system. Because my MAC Shimmering Skin Perfectors are technically baked, I think. But they don't go up here. I, just stay with me. All right. Yes, we have two highlighter drawers. These are the rest. The rest of my highlighters. Again, the brands, baby, they go. So how I store, you'll see, um, I'm going to link that collection breakdown video into how I store certain things. Some things work by brand because they are similar packaging and they fit the same. So fit in the same way. So uh, these are dollar highlighters from Shop Miss A. Some of them are. Some Nika K highlighters from the Beauty Store. Balm. Intense. Intense. Those were what I say. Intense. LA Girl. A Mixture. Elf. NYX. Milani. Um, City Color. These are good. The Desert Treasure. Those are good. Um, this could probably be bronzer. Probably be bronzer. I'm going to go ahead and do something controversial yet brave. And put them with the bronzer. controversial all right um these from look at this packaging these are from makeup revolution these are the splendor ultra glow highlighters they came up with six of them these are only twelve dollars a piece this large pan and um these are gorgeous and so i have the look at that look at that beautiful hello beautiful cat animation all right, we're back to it. Okay, beautiful. Over here, more Makeup Revolution. I love Makeup Revolution highlighters. Um, they redid their something. Something they redid, and I got them all. These type of highlighters. I don't know what they're called again. Let me see. Highlighter Reloaded. Beautiful. I love the detail they put, like the embossing or whatever it is. I love that. Um, it's not necessary, but it just gives it a more luxurious look. Like, look at this highlighter. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. They're shimmer strips. I don't think they make these anymore, but they're absolutely beautiful. Love them. Great. Apparently dupe for the Bobbi Brown ones, which I don't own. Um, in the back here, we have Becca. Sad to see them go. Sad to see them go. Becca, I got to pick up a couple colors I don't have. Um, and then my MAC highlighters. So my MAC Shimmering Skin Perfectors um, and the Mineralized Skin Finishes. I don't have very many. Um, I wish MAC came out with more permanent stuff. Um, and then like, because the limited edition collections disappear quickly. And so I'll go to like my local cosmetic company outlet and get, and I'll see some. Uh, uh, I can't even grab something out my nails but I love the packaging and stuff so this drawer um, gives me a little anxiety because it's not very much room to grow however I rearrange things and shift things all the time and I'll figure it out at the end of the day these are something that might go on display and I have a whole row of them um so those are things that I'm always working on and looking at and trying to figure out um, when it comes to my collection so anyway we get in there can you guess what's next? You guessed it. Blush. Blush and contour. Single contour products. You guys know the palettes are up there. Alright. So, blush. Seems kind of small compared to everything else. These are the Coastal Scents. Oh, rest in peace, Coastal Scents. Forever blushes. And they will last forever. These things are the most pigmented blushes. Listen. And I have all 18 shades of those. These are all my MAC blushes, which I love MAC blushes. Especially for deeper skin tones. Uh, different ones here. My favorite MAC blush of all time. If anyone's a true follower, what's my favorite blush of all time? It's this one. 
It's Mac Raisin. It goes with anything, y'all. It really does. Look at it. Yeah, I haven't even hit... I haven't even hit pan on it. I've had this blush years. Years. You don't need a lot. Ugh. Um, and then coming in number two, which I have hit pan on, is Ambering Rose. Ambering Rose is a, in that same neutral category as Raisin, but it's glowy. And it's really nice, really neutral, glowy blush for a glowy look. Pretty much. Beautiful. See, I hit pan on things. I use things. <laughs> Never said that you guys said I didn't. Um, this is my single, my single powder contour product. This is the Glowish uh bronzer it says bronzer bronzing powder i don't put in the bronzers because it's matte and i use it as a contour stay with me again these these rules aren't aren't hard they aren't locked in um so yeah love this stuff really good and then we have cream products here cream contour products um there's my hair sorry about that uh a deep concealer I'm sorry, not a concealer. A deep, yeah, this is the deep, a deep concealer that I contour with. Um, some contour sticks and stuff here. These are all cream products. My Huda Tan Tour. It's absolutely beautiful. I have two shades of it. I have tan and I have medium. Tan is intense. Medium is that natural contour. Um, those are cream contour products. My Elf Cream Bronzers will go in here as well. Um, so I don't sort things by what they say. I sort them by what I do with them. <laughs> Um, and then these are all my cream blushes. Yeah. The Selena Gomez cream blushes. These are really nice. I have two of these. One of them is already in my shop, my stash bin, because I couldn't help it. Um, I pulled it back out, but... Uh, sorry, y'all. I'm working with one hand here. Absolutely beautiful. And so cute. It's like a little pat of butter. Absolutely beautiful. Colourpop Super Shot Cheek. We know they clutch. We know it. Okay. Um, this is a blush from Becca I just got. Um, so yeah. That's that. Now. This last face drawer. I'm going to let y'all know it's a hot mess. Because I did not feel like making another organizer. I'm just. Eventually I will. So it's very dirty. It's very dirty. The drawer's all beat up. I did not feel like making another drawer organizer. I ran out of foam board. I just, it's, I don't want to, I don't feel like dealing with it. So, here we go. Um, what the, wait a minute. I'm sorry, y'all gotta get up in here. Get up in here. Okay. So, this is my face powders. Alright, and they're sorted. Now, let's start here. Powder foundations. Um, I have quite a bit. Um, my favorites in this category, the Too Faced one by far. The Too Faced, um, Born This Way powder foundation. I don't even know if it's my right shade. I bought this so long ago. Apparently I didn't, oh no, that's the right one. Very pretty. Um, the Cover Effects powder foundation is really good. Um, yeah. The L'Oreal one. I don't know. I don't know. I like the Pro Matte powder more than the new L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear. I don't know what that's about. Um, Fenty One was okay. Didn't impress me. Uh, then we have right here are pressed powders. So set your fake makeup with a pressed powder. Um, for the most part, the pressed powders. So we have NYX, the Stay Matte one. It's decent enough. It does the job. Maybelline Fit Me, which is bomb. The NYC. I don't even know if NYC is a brand anymore. Y'all had this powder for so damn long and it still works and it's still bomb. So deal with it. The mosaic or mosaic mosaic. My matte pressed powder. Rimmel Stay Matte. AOA Studio and Black Radiance is back there. So Alright. And then in this section, sorta. This is where it gets a little. This is where it gets a little aggressive. So in here are all of my loose powders somewhat uh i have pretty much all of them are favorites this makeup forever y'all let me show y'all some this makeup forever super matte loose powder i have two backups of this this stuff is bomb and this is almost done but i'm holding i'm holding on to it it's only a little teeny bit in there y'all see that um 
Maybelline Fit Me Again, bomb. Laura Mercier, bomb. Um, I just bought the glowy Laura Mercier. We have Wet n Wild. And these are all tinted, by the way. Tinted loose powders. NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. Then we have Cover Effects. Um, this is the... Deep, no, I'm looking for the name. Illuminating Setting Powder. Okay, and then I have the matte one as well. Um, this is a new Bobbi Brown powder. Um, I've used it a few times. It's a decent, it's a decent, it reminds me of the Maybelline Fit Me a little. Um, retouching loose powder. Um, my translucent Laura Mercier that I don't use as much. But it works just fine on brown skin. I have some larger pans. My black radiance that I, look at this. I got backups on backups. The black radiance soft focus finishing powder. Y'all know I love, I keep saying y'all know. Some of y'all can be new. I love this powder. Look at how, look, look, look. It is a mess. I don't care. It is a mess. Um, my And these are more of like my soft focus, my, yeah, my like, airbrush type of powders NYX no filter um the NYX high glass is illuminating one this Laura Mercier the candle glow oh this stuff is bomb I love this powder this sets your face and makes it look like you have on an, a filter an Instagram filter or something beautiful absolutely beautiful we got a Becca one here. Y'all see I'm trying to straighten up the area. See how dirty it is? This is my MAC. I'm going to tell you something. This is my MAC Mineralized... No. <clears throat> Excuse me, I burped. <laughs> mineralized Skin Finish in Dark. It ain't that dark to me if you ask me. But I'm going to tell you something. If a foundation's off, some kind of way, this stuff fixes it. When I was wearing foundations, it might be a little dark. might be a little off. might be a little cool. I don't know. This is like magic powder and it fixes anything. I don't know. I don't, know what it, I don't know how, but it does. So we have that one. And then we have the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Dark Golden. This one's a little bit lighter than the other one. And this one helps with the under. This is like more of an under eye setting powder for me. Um, uh, and then I have some yellow under eye setting powders. The Huda Beauty Cake Bake whatever is really good it just can't fit over here again a couple other ones that are yellow this new one Laura Mercier and honey oh I can't put this down I can't put this one down translucent honey can't put it down and then some other yellow powders makeup revolution elf this powder here this is the elf it's like a translucent setting powder in hint of tint that's the name this powder is the best powder to set your color corrector because I use cream color correctors and if you're powdering your face under foundation if you have really really oily skin and you want a super matte look that is the best powder to do that and I don't know why it, that's what that's what that's what yeah so let's put these in put them down here we might as well clean up okay we might as well okay And those are my face powders. Bam! So, that is my face category of my makeup collection. Thank you so much for rocking and rolling with me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!